This is my nigga from the blue end of Crenshaw. We from the red end of Crenshaw. That's why I'm puffing on this red one. Okay. That's why we had two jars. But my boy Bang Rock just released this shit to me yesterday and let me know about it. They was in Coachella promoting it and whatnot. You know mm -hmm. what? Yeah, man. We Crenshaw together right now. That's what we got going on. And we finna unite South Central Los Angeles with all the angels and make great things happen for these children. Because we trying to celebrate birthday parties and not funerals. That shit is booth. Like, we got confused with colors and names and terms. So we just trying to redirect the situation and correct shit the right way. Man. I like that right there, man. I like hearing that type of information. That definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, it's like, it go back all the way to like uniting picking the whole, classes, would you, you know? Say, uniting the whole... Uniting the whole Los Angeles, California, basically the whole South Central start. We're going to start with South Central. You South see? Central. The okay. West side to the east. So it's U.S. South Central is West side. South Central is West and East. Oh, it's in the middle. South Central. South Central, Los Angeles. You South can, they changed it to South L.A. in this over here because they wanted to take the bad stigma or whatever mm -hmm. that it had. On the it. South. So it's just South Los Angeles in this district but yeah. towards the east a little more it's still south central but that's what it started so is this mostly black and brown people or is it mostly latin people we, we populate we populated african-american like we this have place small, right here. yes the jungle is populated all african-american but okay. in this day and time we didn't became gentrified so it's a little so bit so everything. Everything. So you'll everybody. run into a russian you will run into a korean you'll run russian? into but I have friends, you feel me? In this, in this, I live, promise this. you, bro, I introduce you to some people you would never imagine that walk these streets and feel freely and protected by people like me because they know the good citizens of the community. Do they feel like they moving into a nice neighborhood? They or know, they know where they, they know they move. They come in here purposely because they love it. You is it me? the prices that bring people here? Or the price, is it the, the price, definitely. The price and the culture. Though, you <laughs> the feel me? It's like, have culture. you heard of? Have you heard of Lloyd Avery? Lloyd Avery is the guy that smoked Ricky and Boys in the Hood. Yeah. He came here to do research you feel, and fell in love with this shit and end up loving the life. A lot of people, you hear, yeah. you hear about it right now with Training Day. People Google where was Training Day, and they sliding up and down that street all yeah. day long yeah. just to get a visual. And an understanding, and then you get here and you yeah. like, damn, it's something going on around here. These are some cool cats. Let us hang out. I got friends from New Jersey, bro. They went to see Nip. Once they went to see Nip, they Googled where was training day film. They didn't leave for like a week. You know? The, the place like this, that's like for me being an outsider, right? Looking. Let me fire up this Crenshaw. It looks so, it so <laughs> fresh right here. Like, yeah, this hey, don't you know, look like so, no hood. So man, look, it started with like... it started with vegetation, trees, fruits, all of that. That's what made it the jungles. You feel me? The trees and the pastures and all of that. That's how it started off. You know, this I, was a I white just left Africa. I just left Africa. These same plants, just how this shit look. It just damn near look Bro, like I how could, one of them nice neighborhoods in Africa look. I could show you some shit around here. People <laughs> I, that, I could show you some shit around here that people ain't never even knew that was around here, that live here and from around here. Like, there's fruit trees. There's it, it's some shit. It's fresh avocados. It's tangerines. Like, you got to know. Are know they growing them. weed here? In somebody's <laughs> house? Hell yeah. yeah. Somebody got it in their house. Nigga. You better know it's some hey. jungle tree in somebody's house. They got their own strength, but they ain't slanging it yet. <laughs> yeah. But you better come on, bro. This might be some good outdoor growing right here. Look, we got balconies, we got roofs, we got shit that you wouldn't yeah, even somebody think. Probably got like, some. You better know it. I be seeing little tents and shit, and I'm like, ain't nobody living on their balcony, so they gotta be growing. Different trees right here. We got all the trees. You see? We got all the yeah, trees. We got, we got all trees, the plants. We got, we got animals. We got them. raccoons, iguanas, lions, tigers, and bears, snake ass bitches, and cold hearted niggas. Better know Man. that too. That's around here. But we also got some good positive people that ain't with the bullshit. You hear me? Yeah. They trying to get back to these streets. They trying to give these kids a life to live. You feel me? Because yeah, at the end of the life. day, that shit wasn't promoted to us. Like, this is a community. That's a family orientated set. So we don't promote the negativity and the bullshit to nobody kids. That's on them. If they see it and, yeah. and that's what they about that, that they choose that. But we ain't got that no house right like there. That. Is it a lot of bandos like that? That shit is that right something getting fixed right so, now? Somebody so, move so right, right, right now. That shit going on all mm -hmm. over here. They trying to like. So it's more of them that live that right there. On every street, you're going to see some shit like that. It's whole buildings like that right now. And they just didn't. 
Is that because they finna rebuild it, or is they gonna just they just getting some people out? We don't know, bro. Like this been an area where your rent will be five hundred dollars. If you've been here for 20, 30 years, your rent's still $500. Okay. But if you're a new person that's moving in to one of these remodeled yeah, apartments, yeah, yeah. your shit like 18 to 25. And they trying to get the rest of the people, 18 to 2,500, and they trying to get the rest of the people that's low income up out of there. You feel me? They trying, to, they trying to push the, like, like they trying to change the shit, bro. And like, like this high rank property. Like, well, I'm looking they want at this it. shit. You can, look, you can look right up there, and there go the million dollar homes right here from the apartments and shit. So it's like so rich people live around this motherfucker all day, right? every day. You feel me? You got Debbie Allen's Dance Academy right here in the hood. You got. Do they have gang injunction around here where they, they say certain niggas can't be out here? We're going to be in junction for the rest of our life because we consider it as terrorists as far as federal injunction. But a state injunction, that shit don't stand no more. So I did a. I did a um I did a filming with Spectrum One about the ills of being involved in gang injunction and shit like that and what it does so you can't to see people that's house, regular. You can't Not even that though. You don't even have house. to be a gang member to be put on gang injunction the way they doing shit around here and other hoods. You feel me? Yeah. Just to be outside, just to be seen, just to be familiar with some other people, they consider you as a gang member and they label yeah. you. So that'll make you a part of the injunction and then oh you can't be with your family, you can't be with your brother, you can't be with your friend. But that shit was unconstitutional, so, like, to an extent, that shit don't fly, but, like, if 